Hey there, my name is Kathy. Welcome to the Junk Shack, baby. I hope you'll follow me on all of these other social media platforms. In today's video, I'm going to show you how I take everyday items like a tissue box, some candlesticks, and I think that's it. I'm going to show you how I turn them into a brass looking item with just spray paint. So I am kind of into the dark academia decor design recently and a lot of my items are white and although I do still love white it's not that hard to just throw some spray paint at them as I kind of want them to have a gold almost an old brass look a dirty old brass look. The first thing I did was go through my house and take pictures of all of my brass items. And the big thing I noticed was it seemed like there was a black background with highlights of a little bit of shiny gold here and there. I thought to myself, I'm sure I can replicate this. I picked through my stash and I found a tri candlestick holder. You know, it holds three. It's this one right here in the middle. And it was silver. I painted it black. I came in with my various spray paints and it turned out looking like this. I don't think I invented this, but I'm going to show you this new technique that I have come up with. And I think anyone can do. Take any object and paint it black. I am going to demonstrate with this ceramic candlestick. It was white. Painted it white, used it for years like that. So I have recently taken this out and painted it black. And I'm going to take you along and show you this new technique to kind of give it an old world, bronzy, brassy kind of look. I hope you enjoy. I have tried this a few different times, just doing it over the white paint and it doesn't look as good. That's why we're going to begin with black. After the black paint has completely dried, I start off with my brightest color and just randomly spray it all over the whole piece without covering up all of the back. It, I put this first because the additional colors I add kind of tone it down. You will see at the very end, I do add a little bit of brightness again over the top once I'm happy with it to show kind of that it's brass or in this case, fake brass. My next color is this hammered brass kind of color looking. I do it, it's the medium color and I do it over the shiny and it does help it uh, calm it down a little so it's not so bright. Again, I am kind of random with where I paint it. I just kind of back and forth, back and forth. It looks like it needs more. I add a little more. I know that I can always come back in with black. Next, I use this hammered black. And it really it gives it that texture, that old brass texture. It kind of splashes on there as if... The brass has been handled or just been around for a long, long time. I absolutely love the addition of these hammered spray paints. And now for my final layer, unless I want to touch something up with black, hide too much, I use the shiny gold. And I very light-handedly spray it all over everything. And it really does make that shine come to life when this is sitting on a shelf or something, just like the old brass pieces do. I am so excited about this technique. It's so much more affordable than going out and buying all new brass pieces. 
for the price of a couple of cans of spray paint, and they're probably seven or eight dollars each times three. We're talking about maybe twenty-five dollars. You can turn many items into a brass look. If you stick around, I'm going to show you some other ones. This was my practice run, just a, an old wood candlestick, and I wanted to leave the middle look like it's wrought iron, and I did that technique on it. I also did it on this little candle lamp, but I used copper instead of the gold. But these two were my practice runs, and I was very happy with them. So I went on using the black spray paint. Again, I took this old tissue box and gave it a good coat to cover everything. For this project, I wanted to leave the base of the house completely black, and I just wanted to give it a brass-looking roof. I think I did pretty good. I just stood above it. It was on the ground and lightly waved the paints back and forth. I did have to go through and touch up here and there on the sides with just a quick skirt squirt of black spray paint. But overall, I think this turned out great. The tissue that comes out and makes it a plume of smoke is my favorite. What do you think of that? A couple of more items that I had painted silver and then black washed. Now, got a black can of spray paint and the exact same technique done on these. They turned out pretty good. I think I'm going to go through with some actual gold paint, put some on my finger and rub the edges just to make them pop just a little bit more. My next set of candlesticks were also white. I painted them black and did all of those same techniques to them both. These have more gold on them. I was just trying for a little something different. You can see my project piece where I showed you how I did this there in the background. Well, here we are at the end of my Faking it till you make it brass DIYs. Do you think these kind of could pass off as an old brass piece? A vintage old brass piece? A piece like that is every bit of $25, and I did it for about $2. What do you guys think? Are you going to give it a shot? Are you even into this kind of old vintage brass look? I sure am, and it pairs so well with the green. I absolutely love this idea. Do you think I could sell this for 10 maybe $12? Thanks a bunch for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Until next time, Jump Shack, baby.